Well, hello. What do we have here today? Well, what we have here today is a 2004 Range Rover HSC with 139,000 miles on it. I bought this vehicle originally to use to take around antiques and some items that were too big for my car. Well, now that I don't need it anymore, I'm putting it up for sale right here on this website. So, what do you want to know about the vehicle? Well, it's a 4.4 liter V8 producing 282 horsepower when it was new. Not sure what it gets now. It's got a five-speed transmission and uh, it's a great vehicle. It has height adjustment so you can use the air suspension to lower it to get out of it easier and then when you start driving it automatically raises to the driving height and then when you go off-road such as in a situation like where we are now you hit the button again and it'll raise the suspension up about two inches giving you more ground clearance. So right now it's up for traveling. We're gonna bring it down. So we're gonna hit the down button. We're gonna close the door. We're gonna watch it drop. So that makes it a lot easier to get in the vehicle. Now we're gonna go all the way up. Close the door. Watch the body. Does it in one smooth move. So now you've got a little extra ground clearance when you're going over things. Also, what you'll do is you'll switch over to the four-wheel drive. Uh, we'll call it granny gears, where it goes like no more than 30 miles an hour, so you can tackle these ruts in the road and all these things that you might want to do when you're taking it off-road. There's lots of places around here. We're in Gilbert right now, but just not too far from here in Mesa, there's some off-road trails, and you can go up to Payson, Sedona, Flagstaff even, in the snow, and have fun with this thing. It's full-time four-wheel drive. So, people ask me all the time, Henry, when you sell your vehicle, why do you name it? Well, this one's named Onslow. And if you're not familiar with the name Onslow, it comes from a British sitcom called Keeping Up Appearances that aired in the 90s. Well, the lady, the main uh, cast member, Hyacinth Bouquet, she had a brother-in-law named Onslow, and he was a lovable slob. This man cared about three things, his telly, his beer, and his crisps. That's all he wanted. And in America, we call them potato chips, but in England, they call them crisps. So, and bacon. He loved bacon. So even when his wife tried to cozy up to him, he was more interested in what was in the fridge versus what was in the bedroom. Did you bring any beer? No, I didn't. I'm sitting here completely surrounded by no beer. <laughs> so this is Onslow. It is red in color. Everything on it works with the exception of the navigation system. There's a DVD program that goes with it and I don't have the DVD. The heat is, I don't believe, existent. I tried it yesterday and I couldn't get the heat to come on, but the AC is nice and cold. In Arizona, I think we care more about AC than we do about heat. It is a fun vehicle to drive. It sits you high up and you have a nice commanding presence of the road. Now, I will say one thing. The gas mileage is horrendous. It is about 13 miles per gallon on a good day. The sunroof works, although when you close it, you have to pull this little lever down and hold it while it's closing, and you think you're going to lose your fingers, but you're not. It's just something that catches when it closes, but it works fine. The seats fold down in the back, giving you tons of storage space in this vehicle. It has a hitch underneath it, so you can tow a trailer or whatever else you want to. It is a very nice vehicle. The glass is all clean. The windows are slightly tinted. It sits you up high with electric seats that have multi-position you know, uh, savings, so you can put, you know, passenger one, uh, driver one, driver two, etc. It's got a uh, electrical, you know, in the cup holder and in the back, it has the outlets, 12 volt outlets, so you can plug things in. And like I said, overall, it's a really nice vehicle. And it's got the floor mats from Range Rover. It's been kept up in good shape. The rims are nice and the tires are in good condition. It's got fog lights as well. And like I said, uh, clean title goes with it. It's got an electric title right now, but I did order the paper title. So if you do buy it, you'll get it with the paper title, notarized, ready to go. Emissions were done on it. So it was done just about August. I've not had it for a long time. I used it for the project that I needed, but now I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to make some room in my garage and uh, maybe get another motorcycle or something like that. Now, I would be interested in trades depending on what you have, motorcycle-wise or Mercedes convertible-wise. I do like convertibles. I have a Mini Cooper S right now, and it's a manual, and I'd like to have an automatic version when I don't feel like shifting. So let's take a closer look at Onslow. Now we're inside. Let's take a look at the display. Everything on it works. There's a little computer that tells you your miles per gallon, range, speed limit. You can make a speed limit setting so that you don't exceed it. Distance to where you're going, arrival time, average speed, today's date. 
two timers, and a stopwatch. You get a lot for your money with this vehicle. There's the stereo. It's got presets. You've got all kinds of settings for mode. You can play a CD if you want. It's a six CD changer. Very nice interior. Wood accents. There's the height control button. So right now we're lifted off the ground. We're gonna lower it to regular driving height. With just a few flashes, the car is actually lowering from the outside. And now it's at driving height. And this one right down here is when you want to get in and out of the vehicle. It does have running boards. So you've got your trunk, you've got your parking, you've got your AC. Let's turn on the AC. You've got individual controls for your AC. You've got your defrost and your rear window defogger. You've got nice vents up here. You've got your hazards and your door locks. As you can see, they work fine. All four doors. Here's your command center for your driver's side. You've got your mirrors adjusting. You've got your one touch up and down windows. There we go. Simple as that. You got your headlighting switch. On your, on your steering wheel, you have your cruise control buttons. You've got your radio buttons to control the volume. Track select. You can change it back to FM. Kate's a realtor in the valley. And like I said, there's even a tape deck. And I'm going to call her as a director. Where you can insert a tape. For a video shoot. Very popular artist. If you still have those. Hi, this is Carlos Liebenschwubenhaven. I'm a very famous indie film director. You should have heard of me. There's your storage compartment for all your stuff where you can plug in your cigarette lighter. There's even a vent in here to keep things cool. There's the little supports. Make sure you close that before you shove it. Then you have an upper case to put stuff. This is a little bit busted up. Here's your hill descent controls. And here's your low gear selector. So you're in park. You go to neutral. You select this gear down here to D. And it'll say it's changing to low range. So that's for going along rocks and all of those things. If you want to go back, you go, you stay in neutral. You push this button again. And now you're back in high range. And then you go to D. You've got sports shift mode. You can put it in sport mode and change the gears yourself. Four, three, two, one. Then to go back right on over, and you're set. You got your handbrake, you got your analog clock, your max air, all this stuff works. There's your glove box right there that's lit, and your CD changer is in there as well. You can access your CDs. It's a very nice car. Very nice. There's a fuse panel right here. Uh, cup holder doesn't work. It's stuck. I guess you could free it. But for now, I just use the main cup holder here. You got dynamic stability control. You turn it on and off. Let you get a little crazy with the vehicle. Let's take a look at the back seat. And now you have these beautiful leather seats. Interior is really nice. Got your lights. You got your air for back here. There's the air blowing through here. Nice and cool. You can even hear it. You've got four cigarette lighters. The first one up front doesn't work. The one under here does. This one does. And the one in the back does. There you go. you got nice clean pockets back here. Clean door. Ashtray. Not smoked in. Stereo speakers in the back as well. Everything is nice and clean. Let's go to the back. It's dirty because I was just off-road. The top opens up. This is powered. Folds down. Lots of room to keep stuff. Spare tires under there. It's heavy. There's your 12 volt outlet over there. Lots of storage spaces and it comes with a tonneau cover. I don't have it here that goes across the top there. So as you can see this is a pretty cool SUV. Onslow is very versatile. Let's take a look at the engine.
Though it says Land Rover on it, it is a BMW engine. There's a little bit of noise in there. I think there's a slight exhaust leak, but everything is pretty clean. I've got receipts for the battery. It runs fine, runs on the freeway fine. There's some hose that's not connected to something, I don't know why that is. But all the fluids are there, it doesn't overheat. So that's the Range Rover, 602-781-7454. This is Onslow behind me. Onslow is a lovable old fuss budget. How's that for a British term? But willing to do the work that you want. Getting dirty, go through the car wash. It's a fun vehicle. I haven't done much off-roading. I plan on before selling it, but it can be yours. So just give me a call. As Onslow does. We're gonna head out to the streets and take a ride back home. Okay, we're gonna make our turn here. Now we're on the road, so we can give it a push. No issues whatsoever. No lights. No weird noises. Okay, here we go on the freeway, everybody. Fifth gear, we're at 80. There's your temperature gauge. Miles per, uh, rather your uh, mileage, 139981. 90 degrees outside. Cruise control light. Clear window. So you have all the information now. Just uh, get with me at 602-781-7454. We got it at cops.net is my email. And uh, let's take a look at this Range Rover 2004 with 139,000 miles on it as of September 29th, 2020. See you in Onslow. Oh, nice.